Hi again, everybody. Welcome to Avon, where the Golden Flashes get the tournament trail started with a nice, calm, and cool, no nerves, one nothing victory yeah. over yeah. the Eastern Michigan Eagles. That's why we throw seeds out, but oh, yeah. what a magnificent start to tournament play. Unbelievable. You know, just a tremendous start by Eric Lauer. You know, he's been doing this all year long, and as the tension gets a little bit greater, he gets greater. It's, it was just an unbelievable performance. And then defensively, we made plays behind him, and then Sim with the big home run, obviously being proven to be the only run of the game. So we got the first one out of the way. Um, I told these guys we want to win this tournament, we're going to have to play at least 36 innings of excellence, and we played nine innings of excellence for the most part today. Warm. 2-1 pitch, a swing and a high drive to deep right. Look out, I-90, there she goes. Connor Simonetti almost left Lorain County. And the Golden Flashes are emphatically in flight here in the MAC tournament on a no doubt about it bomb to right by Connor Simonetti is 15. He threw the shutout, a complete game four hit shutout, and yet he may not have had his best stuff today. You know what? Yeah, I mean, his uh, he didn't he didn't throw too many breaking balls. He threw a right. slider a little bit, but uh, yeah, you know that's how good his stuff right. is. That's how good his fastball is, and his fastball command, especially in the seventh inning on, I noticed it started jumping out of his hand even a little bit better, and and it was downhill, and and uh, you know. Like I said, he's got four pitches in his repertoire, and, and if not all of them are working, he's still got enough yeah. to, to get out hitters, and that's what he did tonight. Sometimes that first tournament game, Coach, can be such can be the toughest one. Yeah. Uh, how do you move forward now? That that game tomorrow now is, is such of such importance because now you have to be beat twice. You get Friday off. So much rides on that it's, matchup tomorrow. Yeah, it's a big one tomorrow. Um, you know, we like we've done all year, especially in close games. We always build off of close yeah. games. You know, when we win them. And it, um, you know, I, I can see us building off of this. We get we get our offense going a little bit. We got to stay on the baseball a little better. And you know, there's some anxiety, and we got to get rid of it and and, uh, and move on. And I think we'll be much better tomorrow. We're now pleased to be joined by the Golden Flashes starter and winner, Eric Lauer. The Golden Flashes one to nothing. Just a typical Eric Lauer game. What was working? Um, the command was a little iffy today, but um, I mean, just putting it over the plate was going well and. Um, just really focusing on throwing strikes for the most part. It wasn't anything spectacular again. It was just putting the ball over the plate and letting them hit it. How did you control their running game? Um, we had a we had a plan going in. We knew they liked to run a lot, so um, we knew we were going to pick multiple times if they got on, especially if a runner got on. So that's what we did, and that's how we controlled it. Finally, Coach, outside of the obvious answer to this question, what does your starting pitcher giving you nine innings in the first game of a tournament do for you and your staff going forward? I think we saw it with Brian Clark in 2014 when okay. he was able to extend that first first game and we didn't go to the pen. You know, it just definitely makes us deeper out of the pen. And, and that was our goal was to get air, you know, at least through eight. And, 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 and it, it helps when you can have an ace like that where he goes nine innings like that. And, and uh, it just saves our bullpen, that's for sure. You know, and, and we're, we're hoping for the same with Andy Rattle tomorrow. He has him picked off. Simonetti throws to second and waiting for him with the ball. Hollander, two out. That is the third pickoff. What, would, what was Mike Birkbeck's very quick visit to the mound in that ninth inning? He came out, said one thing, and then left. He came out and he said, you got this guy? And I said, yeah. He said, all right, then get him. And you did. Congratulations, Eric. <laughs> Thanks. That is Golden Flash's starting pitcher and winning pitcher Eric Lauer. The Golden Flash is one to nothing. He's hearing it still. They are into the winner's bracket final tomorrow night against either Northern Illinois or Toledo. Here's left-handed batter John Montgomery. First ball swinging a pop-up. Shallow left center. Hawkins is in. He makes the catch. It's a KSU KO. Eric Lauer with some kind of encore. The Mac Pitcher of the Year twirls a four-hit complete game shutout. And the Golden Flashes march right into tomorrow night's winner's bracket final. The final score of this one, Kent State 1, Eastern Michigan nothing.